There's a new exhibit at the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport. It's called Lobstering Women of Maine, and it gives a nod to the female captains out on the water. Rob Nesbitt got a chance to see the artwork and joins us now with more. Rob? I got to talk with Susan Toby White about what inspired her to create the 13 paintings, Robin Amanda, but I also got to go on a boat with one of her inspirations, who said that being the subject of a painting is uncharted waters. It's been a hard week for Captain Sadie Samuels, her lobster boat sitting in the harbor waiting for a mechanic's help. This is my third breakdown this year. It finally received the engine tune-up it needed today. So begins the preparation for an early morning haul in Rockland Harbor. So, so excited about that. I'm going to be here before sunrise. It's a tough industry, but the 27-year-old knows all about that. She's been pulling traps since she got her student license at seven years old, following in the footsteps of her dad's fishing boots. He was gone from before sunrise till after sunset, so he basically told me, if you have your boots on and you're at the front door, you can come with me, but otherwise, like, I'm not gonna try and wake you up and get you ready, because I gotta go to work. So I started sleeping in front of the front door with my boots on, and so he couldn't miss me. <laughs> when high school was over, Sadie's dad told her that she needed to go to college before lobstering, he wasn't sure about the future of lobstering and a backup was important. So she chose an art degree because of the influence of her teacher, Susan Toby White. Okay, this is Sadie. An artist who just opened her exhibit titled Lobstering Women of Maine at the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport. This is Ruthie from Shabig Island. 13 Sh paintings that depict the hard work of female captains and stern women. Oh, this is Genevieve from Stonington. It took a year and a half to paint them all, starting with her first inspiration. Susanna, who I mentioned being the initial person. Photographed and painted by Susan, who was in awe of the work being done on a dock by a woman. She um, just really impressed me and I got to thinking as I was taking the photos, I have painted a lot of men lobstering but never women. So I did the painting of her. That He would have to walk over her to leave and that was when I think she was seven. With each lobstering woman that she talked to, Susan found a common denominator family. Her sister is one. Carrying on family tradition and driving their boats out into open water to haul their traps. What intrigued me the most is how for many of them it's so much about family. Oh my gosh, you should really pursue some of this stuff. There are many cold, wet, difficult days on the job. That's the case for everyone who lobsters, no matter their gender. You, then it's like, why are you doing this? <laughs> there are also a lot of great days that start with a sunrise. Enjoys going out in the sunrise. They see it every day, but seeing themselves on display at an art exhibit, that's something new. I am blown away by it. I absolutely, I mean, I look at it and I'm like, I know exactly what outfit I'm wearing. I know exactly, you know, it's just, I mean, her, her detail is so incredible. Lee from Korea Harbor. Susan even went so far as to put lobster bait in her studio to get the scent of a day on the water. Triple bagged. <laughs> While she worked on the 13 paintings. Well, this is Nora. And 13 nods of appreciation to women who lobster. This is Leah from Swans Island. Lobstering Women of Maine will be on display at the Penobscot Marine Museum until October 20th, Robin Amanda. And shortly after I shot that story, all of the women who were subjects of the paintings all met for the very first time oh, to see the art right. and, and meet each other. They know a lot of each other from Facebook and things like that, but never met, so that's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. Not so sure about the idea of a lobster bait in the studio <laughs> when the temperatures are in the mid-90s, though. Might I like that. Dedication, Rob. <laughs> yeah, it shows that dedication these artists have. Thank you, Rob.